How to Restart a Jenkins Pipeline from a Stage. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.387.2. There's also a sample repository for this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. So let's take a look at the documentation for restarting from a stage. First off, you can restart any completed declarative pipeline from a top level stage, which ran in that pipeline. So a couple of key points. First off, if you want to restart, a pipeline already has to have been completed. And also it can only be declarative pipeline. You cannot do this with a scripted syntax pipeline. The reason why you might want to restart from a stage is this allows you to rerun a pipeline from a stage which failed due to a transient or environmental consideration. For example, one of these situations may be you've gone through and you have built your application, but when you were moving that binary to your binary repository, your network connection failed. Let's say for a moment that your build time took 30 minutes. You don't want to go back through and have that whole build happen again. You know the build is good. It's just that the one stage where you were doing the push up to your binary repository failed. So you want to be able to go ahead and do a restart from that stage. So let's go over and take a look at the sample Jenkins file that I have. And this one's fairly straightforward. I'm not doing anything special here. I have a Jenkins file that has five stages. We can see that they are stage A through stage E, and I'm just doing an echo out for each one of these. You could imagine that stage A was a build and then stage B was a push, going back to my example a few moments ago. So let's go back into our controller and let's take a look at the job as it ran once. So if we take a look at the output of number one, we can see our echoes out for stage A through stage E. Let's assume for a moment that I want to go ahead and pick up and run from stage C. So what's going to happen when we do that is we would click on restart from stage. And here what we're going to see are the stages that have run in the past. In this case, it's stage A, B, C, D, and E. And let's say I want to go ahead and do a startup from stage C. So let's go ahead and select stage C and click on run. What you'll see is a new job is scheduled. In this case, it's job number two. When we take a look at the output, what we're going to see is stage A was skipped because we're starting with stage C. We also see stage B was skipped because we're starting at stage C. And when we take a look at the echoes, we see that we picked up at C and went on to D and E. Now, if we go back and take a look at our stage views here, since we skipped over stage A and B, we can see that we picked up at C and finished on through E. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.